there thank you so much for joining me once again my name is Ndutawambura and if you're new here please go ahead and subscribe leave your comment down below and let's keep interacting I truly appreciate the feedback that you guys have been sending so let's keep growing this channel now perhaps my frequently asked question on my inbox is about intermittent fasting and quite a number of you want to know whether it is something that is sustainable and whether it's something that is nutritionally proven and generally just my thoughts as a nutritionist about intermittent fasting so let me just first uh, put this disclaimer out there that intermittent fasting is actually not anything new really so when you sleep say one hour two hours three hours four hours seven hours eight hours and so on and so forth depending on how long you sleep you are on a subconscious fast and when you wake up you break that fast uh, say maybe one hour or two hours after you wake up some of us might not even break that fast depending on your busy schedule or your individual preferences so fasting is not anything new so the intermittent fasting being the new kid on the block that is christianized to seem to have very beneficial uh, aspects of weight loss and maybe uh, lower blood pressure is really not new so there are several techniques that have been put out there uh, namely uh, for instance the 16-8 fast which means that you 16 hours straight up without eating anything and you only have a window period of consuming uh, food for eight hours then uh, there is also a 24 hour fast which means that you fast for 24 hours straight up then there is also the concept of the five to fast which means that you fast for two days within a week there's also the concept of um, alternate day fasting whereby you fast today and you eat tomorrow and so on and so forth. Um, so basically all these techniques revolve around one major concept of caloric deficit just like any other diet, uh, just like the keto diet, Mediterranean diet, Atkins diet and you know the list is really endless so this is just a new redefinition and a new rebranding of caloric deficit really so intermittent fasting is uh, something that has been taken up by so many of uh, people and ideally it has only been scientifically proven to have beneficial aspects on lab rats say what you had that right lab rats lab rats when put on intermittent fasting they are found to reduce their weight uh, reduce their cholesterol levels um, and also have lower blood pressure but remember a rat generally has a lifespan of about two years as compared to an adult who has a higher lifespan obviously uh, 70 years and, uh, and above depending on where you live um, and so which means that the intermittent fasting can only have any uh, short-term benefits so if you go on intermittent fasting or any other form of fasting then you will realize a short-term weight loss a short-term low blood pressure as well as a short-term um, low cholesterol levels um, so that means that you can not be able to possibly sustain this three years five years down the line or even ten years down the line and so I would say for sure if you want to have a quick weight loss say you want to lose a few pounds within a week or two weeks then you could possibly take it up but then realize that when you go back to your normal then you will gain back all the fat that you had actually lost so what happens is that when you go on an intermittent fasting what your body does is that it um, begins to fuel using the fat stores that you've been having under your skin as subcutaneous fat and uh, around your organs as visceral fat so your body uh, fuels from this storage uh, 
basically because you're not consuming anything much uh, within the day and you need energy to keep going uh, when doing all the activities that you have planned to do within a day so ideally when this happens then you begin to realize that you have some bit of uh, weight loss and you're feeling much better the disclaimer here again is that there are quite a number of side effects uh, from uh, intermittent fasting all dependent on an individual but this could include for instance fatigue you might have a very poor recollection of thoughts uh, low energy and you might just feel tired generally uh, mainly because because you're not consuming much and in any case you might just be consuming some liquids such as water tea coffee uh, because these intermittent uh, fasting techniques allow some bit of liquids within the day however do you want to take up intermittent fasting as a long-term uh, thing no because it is not sustainable really um it is, it causes a fear of food uh which means that you fear taking anything in between the fasting period that you have taken up and uh, you begin a very poor relationship with food and in the long run you will end up in a vicious cycle because you will not sustain it you go back to your uh, normal way of eating and you gain back all the fat and decide to take another diet and it might not work and then you go back to what you know and it's not sustainable so the thing that you need to do is to ensure that you have a caloric deficit like we keep talking about ensure that what you're consuming versus what you're using within the day you have a balance in which you can be able to lose any form of weight and maintain a healthy lifestyle that is long term so remember weight loss is not supposed to be a punishment of the food that you have been eating before it really is supposed to be a celebration of what your body can do in terms of the exercise regimen that you take up as well as a celebration of what uh, your metabolic uh, system can do and so make the right choice ensure that you are uh, choosing what is sustainable all right so these are my thoughts about intermittent fasting so until next time please subscribe and leave your comment down below tell me about your intermittent fasting journey and i'll be more than happy to interact with you bye bye now